So I wanted to talk about self-care. There's probably two camps of people just now. There are people who are embracing that life has become a little quieter. Um, so we're not able to go other than going to work, going for, out for essentials or doing a little bit of exercise. Um, we're, we're not going anywhere, which means that most of us are finding that we are at home a lot more than we're used to being. So there's an opportunity that we can really start to invest in our self-care. But there's probably the other kind of side where people are feeling very overwhelmed, feeling a little bit out of control. So actually, probably self-care is like the furthest thing from their mind just now. Um, and when we come to think about self-care, there probably is actually not, there's never been a better time. It's never been more important to really look at, look at how we're investing in our own physical health, our mental health and our emotional health because it's it's one of the things we have control over. There are so so many things happening just now that we don't have control over, but how we look after ourselves well we can control that. So um my advice around if you're gonna start thinking about self care is start to look at well, what do I actually enjoy doing. Um for me personally reading is a really um, something I find extremely enjoyable. It's I love, I'm an absolute um, sucker for a good thriller. I like to scare myself to death. I've no idea why, but um, reading is something where I can get that total feeling of escapism. Um, I also love a bit of yoga. I love meditation. I um, love colouring in, actually. I had um, found an old kind of mindful colouring book, um, which I haven't used for years. And uh, I'm a secret crocheter. Um, crocheting's been... Crocheting was something that I discovered probably about, um, how long ago would it be now? Maybe about 10 years ago, I had, um, I was, life was extremely hectic for me at that point. The kids were very, very young. Um, I was managing a, a team over at the hospital and my stress was just off the scale. I was trying to be everything to everybody um, and actually started to experience kind of feelings of panic. Um, didn't tell anybody about them at the time obviously just felt that I had to um suck it up and just that I shouldn't I shouldn't have been somebody who felt stressed or or worried or scared um felt like you know just because I understood stress the stress response in the body understood physiologically what was happening in the body um that that somehow made me immune but actually um that was a reality check for me that nobody's immune where it can, all, it can sneak up on every single one of us. Anyway, at that point, crocheting for me became something that I could, I was absolutely rubbish at it, um, but it was something that I could do that actually just kept my mind um, a bit clearer. Um, so finding something that you enjoy. So it might be um, maybe you like painting, maybe you like cooking, maybe you're really crafty, um, or maybe you actually just like quiet. Maybe you like space, maybe you like gardening. Um, something that you enjoy that maybe is not, it's not always a thing that you get to do as much as you would like to do. Um, and really starting to look at in your week, how can you put little pockets of that throughout your week, just as a self-care practice. Um, my advice would also be to think of a space that you can use in your home. Um, somewhere that you can kind of set it up, you can have all of the things that you need. So it might be a corner of your bedroom, it might be a corner of a spare room, a corner in your living room and put nice things in it, put all the things that you want. So have like a really cosy blanket, have a comfy pillow, um, maybe have like nice little knick-knacky things there. I, for me, I always like to put a candle in the space that I'm using. Um, and I'm, a, I'm an absolute, I'm a, I'm a sucker for a book and I'm a sucker for a, a nice smelling candle. So um, creating that nice little space for you because it means that you're more inclined to go into it. So if it's, if it's got things that we enjoy, we're more inclined to use it. And just have a think about what your self-care could be. Um, and remembering that self-care doesn't, we don't need to be able to carve out an hour. We might be carving out 10 minutes. But I guarantee you at this moment in time, finding 10 minutes a day um, that you do something that's just your only motivation to do it is for yourself. It's not for anybody else. It's not for anybody else at home with you. It's not for anybody else at work. It's just for you. I guarantee you, you if you use that over the next week, um, you'll start to feel the benefit of doing that. So um, you can let me know what you do.